Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Emma and I'm an intern at the Rosenthal Education Center here at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Today I'll be discussing Midnight Mass by painter, printmaker, metal worker, and sculptor Edward Timothy Hurley. Hurley was the son of Irish immigrants born in 1869 into a family of seven children. He attended Xavier College in 1887 and pursued art after a visit to the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. Cincinnati legend Frank Dubinick also taught Hurley in the evenings at the Art Academy. Hurley worked for Rookwood Pottery for 52 years and married Irene Bishop, a fellow artist who also worked at Rookwood. He also won a gold medal during the St. Louis Exhibition in 1904. Hurley set up shop in the third floor of his home in Walnut Hills, where he created over 2,000 prints highlighting scenes of Cincinnati, mostly in Mount Adams. He sold his works and wrote eight books on Cincinnati until his death in 1950. Specifically, the painting Midnight Mass depicts an eerie snowy view of Mount Adams in 1911. The oil painting stands 44 and a quarter inches tall and 32 inches wide and sits in the museum's American Wing in room 117. The vocal point of this painting is the Immaculata Church, towering over the dark winter sky. The Immaculata Church was founded in 1859 by Bishop John Baptist Purcell, the building otherwise known as the Church of the Steps. Purcell was caught in a storm returning from Rome in 1854. He prayed to Jesus' mother, Mary, and promised if he survived, he would build a church on the highest hill in the city if he survived the journey. He survived and named the church Immaculate Church after Mary's Immaculate Conception. Since the church's conception, Good Friday has been celebrated by walking the 94 steps to the overlook of Cincinnati. Thousands of people from across the country have made the visit to Cincinnati to partake in praying step by step. Also, according to the church's website, the building used to house a school. However, it unfortunately closed in 1976. I lived in Mount Adams for a year on Hill Street and would see the Immaculate Church when I went to bed and hear the bells in the morning. The painting holds a special place in my heart because it embodies the historical and mystical energy that I would see every day for a year. How does the painting make you feel after you learned of its history? How would the painting's message change if it was depicted on a sunny day? Share in the comments below. Thank you for joining me today at Camp Look. Check out our YouTube channel for past Camp Look videos and check back tomorrow for a new work and a new conversation. See you soon.